Hey guys, I'm Pioneer with another of my Gunpla custom videos. This time we're going to be reviewing my upgrades that I've done with my Gundam Astrea. As you can see right here, has been newly been upgraded to either Mark 3 or Mark 4. Well, that's the line I'm going with. It. And then another kit bash right here, which I'm going to be calling Blazing Freedom or Helios Blazing Freedom. Depending on, I'm still figuring out the name. But that's currently the temporary name for it. And then I got a couple other customs I got also on here. But with that out of the way, let's go with what I've done with my custom kits. So I thought, first things first we're going to be doing is we're going to go with my Gundam Estrella, the always uh, favorite of mine. Technically, this is my personal custom unit. It has been upgraded since the last time we saw it here. And depending on how my editing is going to work, I'm going to try to do it before and after. Somewhere around the video, around this time right now. But with the upgrades that I've done with it, I've upgraded the entirety of its torso and waist has been upgraded to um, a tra uh, transient version of my of Gundamexia. It's an older kit that I had around. Head Headpiece has been replaced, no longer having the uh, red Exia head that you originally saw it. Uh, now it's back with the old Gundam Estrella head I used to have. V-Fin is still the Dark Matter one, so I swapped it out. Uh, new weaponry that I have attached to it is now has four beam savers, basically now. Blade to blade, so now I have four beam slavers, two physical, well, three physical blades. Uh, one katana be belonging to one of my barbados, I forget which one. The prominent sword, uh, what's it called, prominent sacred sword. That originally belonged to my original Exit Dark Matter that no longer exists. Uh, what's it called, that's been modified to be more like, kind of like a heroic sword. Heroic legendary sword. And then the other blade you can see right there is the g Portens, uh particle uh, particle beam sword. Uh, I forget the name for it. And besides that, we also have the dark uh, Gian dark matter rifle, and then the old good old Estrella shield. Uh, other changes that I've done too with it is backpack wise. I replaced the old Estrella um, tri uh, tri point uh, Gian uh, Gian drive, and put original Gian drive that I had laying around. Well, the Estrella ones that I had. Along with attaching the uh, avalanche unit, or at least the prong unit for the backpack. It's not the full backpack system of the avalanche, it's just some parts of it. Because I kind of liked having the blade, blades on top. So it's not got four beam sabers. Uh, other things I did with it as well was give it a new paint, uh, new, new paint, uh, paint of coat. As you see right here, it is more brightly red than before. As I did want this to be more majestic, more hero like uh what's it called and overall it's looking good and then finally did the thing that i've been wanting to because the other problem i had was this for like the longest time is the prominent sword the buster sword that you can see right there i've been trying for the longest time trying to figure out how i'm going to attach this thing to and a lot of the ideas i had the other problem was the backpack attachment being the gn drive or whatever i had on to it was always blocking it so i was like ugh, how am i going to attach this thing so I decided to do and make a sash or holster sash. It's like one of those things uh, back in the oldie times when medieval knights and whatnot used to have. Like, see right there, a uh, little black piece right here. This right here is basically just me modifying some electrical tape that I decided to mod and bend uh, carefully, then twist around and whatnot. And boom, basically just wrapping around the waist while also going a little bit more to the left side. And I make another hole right there so the sword can slide in. And boom, now it has this holster that goes sliding down. It's a temporary thing. I'm sort of trying to figure out whether or not I want to keep this. Or I'm going to try to get myself some leather and then modify from there. Since leather is a little bit much more better use for this. And I might try to do that later down the line. Uh, but overall, my Stray looks beautiful and nice. I might really, really like it. I kind of did this. Because i kind of been wanting to go back to base Estrella. Because what's cold. Uh, I've already been in the mood. Uh, especially with like last week. Was it last week or was it a couple days ago? Bandai reissued or issued uh, the base uh, Gunnam Estrella with a new giant sword. And then reissued the master both threat Masquerades. And reissued the Masquerade Gunnam Estrella Type F with all of its arsenal. That's the one that the high grade has with all of its arsenal. Not the real grade because I do own the real grade. And the real grade is kind of a disappointment. Not disappointing in the build. More disappointing in that. Uh, it doesn't come with all the weaponry that was I was hoping because the high grade does which I'm happy with the high grade the high grade We did see a bit, but I'll show you the high grade or my new high grade version of it. You see right here uh, Though the high grade version has different weaponry slots So because I was going to 
originally put it back to its old weaponry style, but I was going to do that later. But overall, my, my gun is straight up looking good. I was going to, like, take out all the stuff that's going to have, but overall, this is mainly just the look, looky look. Like, well, like, I might do, like, a full breakdown of this later down the line, or maybe another day I might do that full breakdown. But overall, this is just an overview of how the kit looks right now. Now, going for my Gun of Australia, we're going to go with the other one, the Kit Bash, because this right here is not a Kit Bash. This is an overall custom unit. Now, let's go with the Kit Bash. And now we have here the Kit Bash kit. Has been actually custom a little bit. Well, custom painted. Uh, but overall, this right here is what I'm going to do for the meantime. The Helios Blazing Freedom. This right here is basically a kit bash of the Comic Burning Gundam. Uh, the Gundam Helios. Uh, that we got from the Battle Log kits. Uh, some parts of my Tri Burning and some parts of the Freedom. Of my original Strike Freedom. And then repainted in crimson color, shiny metallic crimson color. You can see right here, sorts a little bit going off. And the and the idea for this was, uh, I long since uh, custom customized other kits, so I kind of like kit bashed some other parts, gobble up for other reasons, and whatnot. Uh, so all that I have left was the torso, not torso, the waist of the comic keeper. And so I was like, I kind of want to modify this because I was going, I was originally going to do like old samurai style. With the comic gear burnings, uh, was the way the waste was going, but that didn't pan out, so I was like, I left it there for like a long time, and it was always staring me at me. It's like, ah, do something with this, so I did, and eventually, last night what was the last night, yesterday or so, I did. So I grabbed the parts that I needed, took other parts that were around. I was going to try to find the other, the left hand of the comic gear burning, but I never did. Uh, but overall. I basically just grabbed the Helios torso part, ripped it apart, repainted everything, sanded everything. You can see right here, there's still a little bit, still a little bit of the, you can see on the waist and whatnot, a little bit of like the dust of the red, the red is kind of going around, which is fine. I'll probably repaint the white later. Uh, what's it called? No, the legs are technically still missing the front particle parts. They're somewhere around here somewhere. I'll find them eventually later. Uh... Either way, I re-chrome or repainted everything with the metallic crimson. Everything looking well. Backpack here as well. Let's uh, try to take the backpack art without breaking this. <sighs> the other thing with this is the tor torso part. Oh, this time, like, still, like, fall out and whatnot. But the sheath and blade got repainted. Everything looking good. Because for those who buy Gunpla, know that sometimes a lot of the blades are just plain and whatnot. Uh, the comic you're burning uh, katana was plain white so repainted everything repainted it was a uh, metallic silver uh metallic chrome uh not chrome crimson the gold and overall looks good looks how a katana should be and the sheath right there also painted with uh crimson gold right there well not bad not everything got painted over over uh, some of it was painted from last time. I just did a recoat paint a little bit. Uh, the torso of the Helios originally was blue, or this kind of like hot hue blue. I I didn't mind it, but with the way I wanted to do this, I decided to paint it all crimson. And overall, it looks pretty good, and I kind of like this better. The gr like the uh, uh, the like the particle, not particle, the clear blue and the clear green actually works well. Compliments. I was going to do some paint on the head, but I decided to leave the head for the meantime as is. So I kind of want to do a little bit more. I kind of want to give more of an idea what kind of color scheme I want to give the head. So in the meantime, the head's going to stay as is. The shoulders belong to my Tri Burning, which no longer exists at uh, RIP that one. I'm going to get another kit of that Tri Burning because I do want my original mod kit back. Uh, but yeah, overall, for a kit bash, not bad. It actually looks pretty well. It actually kind of looks like... Uh, Kind of like an official kit. Then with the Freedom Wings attached there, so it can add a flight unit. And overall, it actually is a great unit. Looks actually pretty nice. And for for the most part, you won't even notice this thing actually was a uh, kit bash. Um, almost all the parts kind of fit well, minus the left hand. But then again, sometimes asymmetrical is always good for a lot of these uh, kits and whatnot. Uh, I was going to try to find some weapon for the Strike Freedom, but I never did. Uh, so I might, so any ranged weaponry I'm going to try to put on to this, 
I'll probably do it later. I may replace the, the side skirts for some of the strike ones or some of my other servo strike parts I have so I can attach, you know, beam stairs on this so this can have more weaponry, but we'll see how that goes. This is a kit bash. This thing's not done yet. I still have a little more ideas I kind of want to do. Now let's go with the other two units I still have that I was working on. And now we have here my double O archer. Actually right here, this right here is, uh, like I said, another kit bash kit that I had around. Uh, I originally gobbled up my Jan archer, which again, another regret that I do have that I kind of want to do want to get another kit of. Uh, what's it called? So I had the head laying around and I was like, wanting to do something with it, but I never had the idea. I had other ideas, but some of them were 30 minute mission kits and whatnot, which I did not have or could not get them at the time. So I decided, you know what, let's find some double O parts to see what I can work with. And I did. I ended up finding uh, the chest and torso piece of my original Gundam Double O. The arm pieces belong to my Quanta that I did double up, as most of the Quanta parts I did use for my Double O arsenal of my custom video a while back. And I decided to try to make this kind of like a long range, uh, kind of general purpose uh, kit. So, left shoulder has the giant uh, busted sword for the uh, seven swords. As this thing technically doesn't have seven swords. I, didn't, I can attach the beam savers, so technically we'll have probably two beam savers. Just gotta, I just gotta find them. I do have some more laying around, uh, or at least double beam savers laying around. I did attach the guitars, which I'm going to repaint because, technically speaking, uh, this was on a previous custom because the kneecaps belong to something else, but I did repaint those like a while back. Uh, the beam rifles, the left one obviously belongs to the 007 swords the right one for those who don't know belongs to my double uh not double o, uh my reborn gundam uh, again i need i'm gonna try to lay it online buy a new one again because i did kind of destroy it i did have to do some modifying on this one too because the the gene archer rifle does not attach at all so i had to do some sanding onto the kneecap parts right here you can see right here did like to make an indention right there so the thing can fit on there so it can work well and also uh, cut over here so they can fit on the arm so there would be no problem at all, which was a good thing. Uh, the shoulders, the right shoulder still belongs to Quant. The left shoulder technically is still technically the original double O. So it still works out well. Uh, the legs are Quanta legs. The arms, or at least the torso arms from here, belongs to my Quanta. Left side is the original double O. Right side, so Quanta. The GN drives belong to my other, well, my other double O gun that I technically did get. Overall, not a bad kit. The red might be a little bit, I might do some more sanding and whatnot. I might do a little more clear up work. But overall, I do like how this kind of came out. I'm not d fully done with it yet. I'm trying to debate whether or not I want to do a different backpack attachment or whatnot. Because I was trying to see if I could try to get myself the uh, uh, resin kit of the Exit Swords. And see if I can try, try to attach this onto this. Uh, but we'll see on that. But now let's go with my last custom unit that I was working on. And let's go with that one. And last but not least, my Blue Striker. This right here is my formerly uh, uh, striker, gym striker that I use for kit bash. Why not? Because a while back before Bandai decided to eventually make this model kit, the uh, Slay Brace uh, ground type Gundam. Uh, what's it called? I wanted to make my own, but didn't have the parts. And the parts I needed to couple up were using the... I needed to buy a gym striker, which I did do. So I took off the head, modified it. I wanted my gym ground types, and boom, made that. Uh, that kit eventually uh, disappeared and whatnot because I ended up doing some other stuff. But regardless, uh, the tor the entirety of the body was left with basically without a head. And then uh, my Blue Destiny unit, which I originally did have, kind of used up for other parts and whatnot. Uh, and then I ended up buying the Revive Blue Destiny, so my old Blue Destiny kind of went out of the way, used up some of its parts for other stuff, and boom, I really didn't have anything left. So basically I decided to, like, take the old Blue Destiny head, and then attach it onto the, uh, Jim Striker, repaint it to blue, and boom, new Blue Destiny unit with more armor. And basically just to recon, I just painted it to, like, more dark blue just to keep the, like, whole Blue Destiny, uh, seam and whatnot, because it still has the head, so Jim Striker. Uh, the machine gun and the shield are still the same. The only thing I did add to some more attachments, I did add some thruster units from the Alex. Oh, sorry about that. Oh no. Everything's falling apart. 
Sorry about that. Camera decided to fall. Don't worry, everything's fine. Let's stop this because this thing was actually the cost for it. Overall, I did uh, thrusters. I did modify the thrusters right here. So what's it called? These are able to move a little bit. Uh, these thrusters belong to my old high grade Alex, which again, another kit that no longer exists that I use for kit bashing and other custom parts. And then last but not least, in order to attach the uh, the striker dual blade size thing, I did uh, drill into a hole and did attach like a peg piece right there. You can see right there. So this thing could be attached onto the onto the backpack, no problem at all. And overall, my blue striker is looking pretty well. Uh, this thing is not done yet. I was gonna do some more stuff. Uh, what's it called? I was gonna add some more weaponry, some kind of like some of the uh, full armor weaponry from the full armor Gundam. That I do have technically some parts of. I was gonna add onto it. I was probably gonna add some maybe some cannons and whatnot. Uh, but we'll see on that. Uh, but overall, this is a uh do striker custom that i'm actually pretty proud of uh the paint job originally was like a little bit half-assed but overall i did modify it and did fix it over time and yeah i actually really did like this it actually went kind of come out pretty well probably a great kit and overall my four customs i was doing were all pretty great might do more custom reviews later down the line depending on how i finish most of them might also do more gunplay reviews as well for those who Originally watched my channel for gunplay reviews. I'll be back on doing some of those later down the line. I might my next hmm. my you know what the next gunplay uh, review I might do will be probably an entry grade, and that will probably be the entry grade uh, new Gundam. Since technically speaking, that's on my right side. I'm that's looking at me right now, so we'll probably do that one next on my gunplay reviews. Now for my figure reviews, we'll probably be doing trunks, uh, Super Saiyan trunks uh, later down the next couple days. But with that away, folks, this is I uh with my custom reviews. And if you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I always appreciate it. And as always, folks, have a nice day. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.